In this video, I'll show you how to modify this Sonoff Basic so it'll operate at 5 volt DC and you don't have to use an AC voltage. And you can use the onboard relay for AC switching, DC switching, or just as a contact switch. You can tell it's the R2 because it uses wires to carry the AC voltage. And it even says here, Sonoff R2. If you compare it to the older version, this is the older version. This is version one. And it even says here, Sonoff TH underscore V1.1. And it does not use jumper wires. It uses the PCB traces to carry the AC voltage across to the other side. And they added extra solder here. For this modification, you'll need a pair of wire cutters and a soldering iron. You see this component here? This is a fuse that connects from the hotline input here, and this leads to the onboard power supply. You want to disconnect or use the wire cutters and just cut it. So after disconnecting the fuse, and that isolates the relay, your relay switch which is now isolated and bare is here and here. This is the relay switch connections. Now instead of using AC voltage, you can power the Sonoff Basic R2 by applying 5 volts DC at these two points, ground and 5 volts. Now the ESP8266, or whatever part number they use, operates at 3.3 volts, but the Sonoff board also needs 5 volts to power the relay. So if you provide 5 volts, it will give the ESP8266 the proper voltage. For the version 1 Sonoff Wi-Fi switch, you want to clip the large resistor located next to the relay. So this is where you connect the positive 5 volts and ground to the version 1 of the Sonoff Wi-Fi switch. Now I have the Sonoff board powered up with all the modifications. 5 volt DC input. I'm not using AC. I have my ohmmeter connected to these two points, which is the relay switch on the Sonoff board. If I switch the Sonoff on with the eWe Link app on my phone, it'll make a connection. Now you can use this Sonoff switch to switch anything on and off, not just AC circuits. You can switch AC circuits, DC circuits, or just use it as a contact switch. Thanks for watching this video. Please share and like this video if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to see my future videos. Have a great day.